Yeah, this is where the Department of Education is housed. If you walk with me, you can see right back there, just a few blocks away, the state capitol. The problem is the revenue predictions between these two offices are just not adding up. But the bottom line is school districts should brace for more cuts. This is money that is uh, part of what we knew is there, but we have really a difference of opinion on how serious the shortfall will be to the 1017 fund um, from others. Superintendent Joy Hoffmeister says it's not if, but when additional cuts to education will happen. The 1017 revenue fund set up to aid schools is on the brink of failing. We are less than optimistic that, that there won't indeed be a budget shortfall for this particular fund. The agency in charge of developing the state budget is more optimistic about that shortfall, but Hoffmeister says her job is to get school districts ready for the worst so they're not caught off guard. What is known is what happened yesterday with the Board of Equalization. They certified that there will be another statewide revenue failure. And we expect to hear about additional cuts when those revenue numbers come in at the end of this month. We're live near the Capitol. Patty Santos, KOCO 5 News. Thank you, Patty. A business plowed into shattered glass telling the tale of what happened. This mess, the work of a thief inside Star Lumber. KOCO's Macarain is in Enid with where the company goes from here. Well, Paul and Jess, the store is still open for business, but take a look behind me. You can see where they had to put up that makeshift door. Also, take a look down here. You can see where the person just plowed right through these tire tracks, go a couple feet into the store. These pictures tell the story. Mounds of damage, shattered glass, and store items strewn all over the floor here at Star Lumber Company, thanks to a burglar. Security bars and the front doors had been apparently knocked in by a vehicle. You know, we don't know if they drove in or backed in. They do know whatever happened, the burglar got away with power tools and left them with at least a thousand dollars in damages. This picture shows the gaping hole they've now patched up after it happened early yesterday morning.